Mauri Pagliaccio, Fire on Far, and I am here uh, aside of the airport in La Palma with uh, Jim Ferrix. Uh, it's Ferrix, right? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah. The 2017 Trans Vulcania champion. Congratulations, man. Thanks. And yeah, it was an exciting day. Uh, couldn't have gone. Couldn't have gone better. Um, well, I, I was I was a couple of days before in the island here. Uh, you were kind of uh, the dark horse. <laughs> Let's call it dark horse. Okay. And uh, <laughs> and uh, well, how how was it? How did that happen? Uh, could you yeah, um, start, you just jumped out. Yeah, it, it was great. Um, it. I, the whole trip uh, was kind of an idea thrown thrown around by my friend Jim. Oh, Jim um, Wesley. <laughs> yeah, he kind of he kind of uh, tossed the idea out to me like less than two weeks ago, and um, and yeah, I just didn't think it'd be possible at first, but we made it happen and got out here on Thursday. Uh, late on Thursday, and then just I was kind of like in sleep in the last <laughs> mode, trying to. So didn't didn't get to see a whole lot of the island, unfortunately. But yeah. forty five miles worth was was good. So yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what what did you think of the race uh, in general? Like the the course, the animals, yeah, it was uh, it was incredible. I mean, we, we, you know, there's some there's a few events in the United States that that have big crowds, but this I mean this was just insane. The the, the crowds are just so into it. Um, and all the, all the toughest parts, there were people lining the course and uh, just going crazy. Um, the course was beautiful too, and I think it played to my strong suits just with all the climbing and um, that type of terrain. I run, usually run pretty well on. So yeah, yeah. and you've been uh, you've had some sidekicks for training, really nice, like with Jim. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Jim, I've been training with Jim and Cody Reed. Uh, those are the main two. Um, and then every once in a while we'll get, like Hayden came by a couple weeks ago and was training with us. Um, so yeah, uh, between those two guys and then anyone else that's coming through town, we got a lot of road yeah. road and track guys that yeah. we'll get out with too. Okay, so. that's great. So tell me a bit about the race with Hayden. Like, it looked like, I, I was at the 23k mark, you, it looked like you were working together. How, yeah, yeah, we, uh, we kind of, I don't know, I, we both said we were feeling pretty comfortable early on, it felt comfortable, felt good, um, but we were kind of just pulling away from everyone, and so we just decided we were going to work together, and um, yeah, stuck together the first half, and, I mean, that could have gone, gone better, it was, yeah. it was great to um, have each other to key off of, and um, push each other, because um, I know in the past there have been Americans that have really taken it out, but they're yeah. they're alone, and that's that's a tough way to run. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, running with Hayden couldn't work out better. And then the well, I uh, you you could nail the downhill pretty well. Uh, how, how was it like the race has been won in the downhill? Like and what you yeah. said about the other Americans that like okay. Sage or Sack that had good races, but you could nail the downhill. How did, did you feel about you? How the, um, were you scared at some point? Of this? Yeah, yeah, no, totally. The, <laughs> the downhill was actually what I was most worried about. <laughs> Take care, guys. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, yeah, the downhill is what I was most worried about because uh, I, I know I can climb. Um, we run in the Grand Canyon a lot, um, which has descending also. But I just I I don't think I'm quite as strong in the descent, and and I you know just tearing through the grapevine that some of these guys can really descend, and so um, I was running scared on the downhill, and I think that that helped a lot. Um, but because uh, I, I think Ludo was even closing on me on the downhill, yeah, he was um, I kind of goofed around at a few aid stations on the downhill, making sure I was taking care of myself. But yeah, um, yeah it, you know, it, it uh, worked in the downhills worked out. So that's great. So what's next for you now? Like this is a good jump now. I, I don't know. Did you sink it in? I yeah, don't. you know, I mean, this was such short. You know, we planned this out so quick that I, I really don't know what's next. It's like you just laugh for Yeah, <laughs> originally I was planning on Broken Arrow in California. Um, I might still do that. I, I haven't been racing very often recently, so that feels like a quick turnaround for me right now. But I, I don't know. I might, depending on how things kind of turn around from here, I might hop in that. I'm gonna be pacing Jim at Western States. Western, yeah. um, that's, that's a plan. nice job. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan anyway. So yeah, I need to be at uh, 40 percent of his fitness yeah. uh, to run forty <laughs> to run forty miles, and even that's a tall order. So yeah, um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I think that'll be fun. Okay, great.
So, well, congratulations. I know you got a flight to catch. So, uh, thank you so much thank for you. your time and congratulations. Enjoy seeing it. Safe trip. <laughs> All right, thank you.